morning everyone it's a little early this morning at least on uh, well I normally get to the job site but we need to meet the uh, excavators concrete people on site this morning and they like to get a little bit of an early start so uh, it is a this job site's about a 40 minute no traffic uh, drive from home so it takes me a little while to get there but anyway so starting a new project today and it is a post frame building it is 40 feet wide uh, and it's 72 feet long it um, will have 14 foot sidewalls on it and uh, so yeah so it get started on that uh, this morning we'll meet with the excavators and make sure that they have everything laid out um, we had a slight uh, alteration to the plan um, from what was originally drawn to what we're going to actually do um, we've widened the uh, the door from a 10 or 12 foot door to a 14 foot wide uh, door to accommodate some equipment coming in and out and then um, we also extended it nine feet um, longer in order to get a little more uh, square footage um, the posts are nine foot on center and uh, so the trusses are nine foot on center so we extended one bay went from 63 feet to 72 feet so uh, yeah so anyway we're gonna get there this morning get everything laid out the the goal is we've got a footing inspection tomorrow I believe at 10 with the building inspector and uh, they got to get the dirt pulled off, kind of get the site prepped, get their holes in the ground, get the shana tubes in, the, in there, get everything prepped. Um, we've got all of the anchors, and we'll go through the anchors of um, how these are actually attached uh, from the concrete to the building, um, because those get set into the concrete when we get started. Um, and I believe we have three different styles of anchors, um, and we'll look at all of those here in a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll get those done and uh, hopefully get this laid out. The other thing we do today is that we've got the lumber load coming out this morning so that we can get that um, undone, sorted, and kind of staged out so we can get our, uh, all of our materials onto the site where we want them and uh, start laying everything out. So, yeah. So, anyway, let's get started and see what we can get done. All right, once we got the general building way out, the first thing that they're gonna do is they're gonna come in and they're gonna scrape all the grass and move that off to the side and get as much, uh, kind of get all of that uh, vegetation out of there. We don't have a lot. And then from there, they'll just do some leveling and get this thing down to where it's pretty close to being uh, level now we do have to accommodate uh, we've got a five inch floor slab we've got two inches of foam and then they'll do uh, class five or some type of a base along with uh, the, 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 uh, sheet roll of uh, geo mesh I believe it's called that they'll put down to help stabilize the floor so, yeah so we'll just keep working on that that's the first step. Alright, so when they drill the holes, you can see where they go around, and after they get all the line snapped in, they'll uh, put the, a mark in exactly where the center post is with a little uh, spray paint, and then uh, away they go. And they'll uh, drill this down again, they're going to be 48 inches. This is about as easy digging as you get. There's the sand. So they'll go down, pull us out. And then they'll come back in. They've got a laser uh, set up. And then they can measure and make sure that they're that thing.
All right, so here is our brackets that the posts are gonna go into. So these will be set into the concrete. So this will be the top of the tubes that they're gonna put in here later today. And then our columns will fit into here and sit on top of that. And that will be the top of our uh, uh, slab, so when they pour it. So, so all of this will be above the slab. We will see in the slab, we'll see a little bit of a, the post but um, then we don't have anything, any wood in the concrete, so. And then we have one other bracket. So this is the bracket that goes on the corners and we get, these will set afterwards and we just drill and set those into the corners. Um, so, but this is, there's 19 of these, there's six of those. So our four corners and then the two, the two on the door so we can set those afterwards, so. All right, getting uh, close here, middle of the afternoon. And we got most of the posts set, or they have most of the posts set. I think there's 25 in total, and I believe they've got probably six or seven left to go. So one thing is actually, so he's wobbling that because they've got a 24 inch auger and the footings are 24 inch, and they're a little bit tight getting them in there, so they would have to basically haul up. So these are 24 inch diameter concrete. They are 48 inches below grade. Our grade here is, uh, frost level is generally at 42. So we'll be well below that. Um, but fairly flat site, you can kind of see over here like how where the, the grade is coming across here. And uh, so these are a little bit out of, that's, we knew that was gonna be our low corner. I believe this is our high corner. So floor will be up above where grade is. But yeah, then we'll just backfill and grade in around it once we're done. So we've got all the sauna tubes in, kind of a rough grade in. So that's all set. Tomorrow we get footing inspection and then uh, Wednesday they pour. The other thing that happened is we did get all of our lumber. So there's all our framing lumber, our posts, um, all of that. So tomorrow I'll go through and start sorting that and start pre-cutting and doing layout on everything. So um, that'll be tomorrow's task. All right, end of day two. All of the sauna tubes are in. We got 25 sauna tubes. Um, they've graded this down and uh, Get everything in and start about, we had a little fill that we had to bring in back over in here. And otherwise it's a pretty level site. So this is pretty dialed in. We got a little bit of the overburden that we had to take off that uh, got moved out. And then um, from there, they've got the, uh, the road. Today they worked on the road. They put this geofabric down and uh, brought in a bunch of class five so they'll pack that tomorrow. And then also tomorrow morning, eight o'clock, the cement truck will be here. We got a couple of trucks coming in, so they got a good road for the trucks to come in. And uh, we'll get some footings in. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of great footage of them uh, filling the, the sauna tubes, but we went ahead and got those filled. We had two different trucks, uh, about 13 yards total to fill these. The other thing, we didn't get any footage of the 
brackets going in, they put those in, line them in with all the lines that they put in, and then they'd level those in. And uh, yeah. So yeah, well that's all. Uh, everything's in, wrapped up, and uh, for the most part, the concrete guys are done until they come back and uh, put the floor down. All right, so they're just wrapping up on the roadway now. Loading up for the last time. They're gonna get the, and they're gonna be out of here. But we've got a nice road bed in here. And what they did, similar to the uh, uh, over here, they cleaned off all of the sod and everything, and they come back and lay this mat down, and then they come back in with class five and uh, put that in there, and then just level it out. Come in, they'll shoot this, they shot it in with the lasers to make sure it's all even all the way across. Uh, but this will lay, run right back down in, and it ties in with the uh, existing driveway, so we'll have a nice driveway rolling up into here and uh, be able to uh, be able to get our materials in and out of here if we are very lucky when the trusses come we can get them up here where we won't know until the day they show up whether the driver is willing to come up here or not he's got enough road the biggest thing is if he has enough room so So they cut down, and here you can kind of see where they cut down. This had a big rise, and then it was a big kind of hole. So it was a pretty steep incline. Now we've got a really nice roll out into the driveway. So that comes out pretty nice. And there we go. All right, I think we're gonna wrap this one up here. Got uh, all the foundation basically in, uh, the roadways in, and uh, so next time we're gonna, uh, we've got a couple of days here that'll probably be working by myself. Um, I'll try to get some layout done, get uh, my story poles built, and then uh, yeah, we just get started from there, and uh, possibly even doing some of the framing on the ground set up for that so uh, anyway thanks for watching thanks for all the new subscribers uh really appreciate it um yeah have a great one and we'll see you next time thanks